Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball. Eight-box jumbo case. Pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Oh, you know what? Before I start this break, let me post the, uh, let me post the next one. Just so some of you can... Uh, and get a get a head start on the next pick your team break, which will most likely go off tomorrow. All right, hey Peter, welcome back. All right, so that done. All right. Once again, pick your team five here on a Thursday. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Appreciate it. Jumbo has three autographs per box. Spray takes a little over an hour, so get comfortable. Settle in. Let's see if we can pull you something nice out of here. Good luck. So this Thursday, I know this is a baseball break, but not too much baseball stuff happening. Trevor Bauer got reinstated. Dodgers have until January 6th, I think, to figure out what they're going to do with him. Activate him. Release him. Trade him. Who knows? We'll find out. But no other transaction type news. The Thursday night football game, not impressive. Jaguars beat the Jets 19-3. to um, Has, uh, have we talked, we were talking about this a bit before we started the break. Has, have any of the, th I guess the Raiders-Rams Thursday night football game was exciting, but just, just at the, just in the last drive. Sup, Gilo. Have any of the Thursday Night Football games been any good? So week 16, Thursday Night Football, Jacksonville at New York. Not that great. The week beforehand, San Francisco at Seattle. That was 21 and 3rd. I guess that one, that one was okay. Previous to that, was, the previous one was the Rams, Raiders at Rams. That was pretty boring until the end. Week 13, yeah, Buffalo Cruz against New England, 24 to 10. Week 12. Uh, oh, those are, that, those are the Thanksgiving games. I don't know if that really counts. Week 11, Tennessee 7, 27 to 17 against Green Bay. Carolina, Atlanta, Carolina 25 to 15. Week 9, Philly cruised against Houston. Uh, I guess that Baltimore Tampa Bay game was good 27 22. But that's back in week eight. Week seven, I guess Arizona 42, New Orleans 34. That was a high-scoring game. Week six, Washington at Chicago 12 to seven. Week five, in overtime, Colts 12 to nine in Denver. Week four, Cincinnati over Miami 27 to 15. That was kind of, they kind of cruised. Cleveland 29, 17 over Pittsburgh. Yeah, there, and then week two, uh, that was a good game. Chiefs at Chargers. Chiefs won 27 of 24. But then week one was, you know, the Bills crushing the Rams 31 to 10. All right, box one of eight. All card ship.
And we're looking for Jackson Holiday, Tamar Johnson, and Elijah Green. Those are the main ones that we're looking at. But all cards do ship. There's Blaze Jordan to four ninety nine. And we got a Jack Brannigan Gold Wave autograph, 24 out of 50 for the Pirates. Chad DeBenny with the Buckos. We got Joe I Love Lamp, 155 out of 250, purple chrome for Cleveland. Mark with the Guardians. And we got Tyler Locklear. That's for Seattle, that'll be for Peter. With a hitter. Corner infielder. Jonathan Cannon, purple paper. 213 out of 250. Um, going back to football, some big news today. YouTube. From where we broadcast, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Sunday Ticket is going to YouTube for the 2023 season. How does everyone feel about that? We have DirecTV here and Sunday Ticket. Which might be one of the only reasons why we got DirecTV. I feel like there's got to be a lot of people in that boat. I don't know what the percentage of the people, you know, I don't know what percentage of direct TV customers are only there for Sunday ticket. Holiday goes to Jack and the Orioles. Elijah Green going to Billy. So I don't know what we're going to do at Jazzy's for 2023. Maybe become a YouTube TV family? And behind Emmanuel Rodriguez is Brenner Cox, 421 out of 499. Billy with the Nationals. No, YouTube, not 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 YouTube, the Irish rock band. 
57 out of 99, Emmanuel Rodriguez. Ah, j Dog's good with that. He's like, hey, I'm subscribed for YouTube Premium and YouTube TV. And, and if you want to pay for that Sunday ticket package, you'll have that too. Although I've heard that that of those, you know, TV ser the TV streaming services, and I don't know, J Dog. I don't know if you've tried, you know, other services before. You settle for YouTube TV, but I heard that's pretty nice. YouTube TV of those services. Who else has those services? Like Sling TV. It's Brooks Lee going to Peter and the Twins. Maybe Hulu has like live TV services, right? Now what I just realized recently We get that sky blue Tamar Johnson for uh, Chad and the Pirates. Watching Thursday Night Football, I was like, wait a second. You know, no matter how good your internet connection is, um, no matter how good your internet connection is, like there's always going to be some sort of lag between the broadcast and what's actually happening live, right? It's not as instantaneous as TV. So, I was wondering, how do they do live betting? Like, you know, when you go to Vegas, you have live betting. Are their TVs all streaming? And they realize no, because there's actually a separate deal that Amazon has with uh, DirecTV, I think, to put games into restaurants like hundreds of thousands of restaurants and bars and sports books across the country so that's how they uh that's how they manage to so that's how you can still do live betting if you wanted to Someday technology will get there where uh, where streaming will be like live things. Live stuff will be as as fast as just watching it on regular television. All right, another box. Holiday. Yeah, get off that dial-up mic, Tyler. You don't need that anymore. I'm thinking of cutting the cord as well. Oh, and a cutter coffee. Six out of 99, green chrome autograph for Boston. That's for Mark and the Red Sox. First auto of the box. The only reason why I have, uh, I'm on Spectrum, the only reason why I have that is to watch, uh, to watch the Dodgers network because it used to only be on Spectrum. 15 out of 75, Averson Ortega, yellow for, for Ross and the Giants. But now that it's on other networks, right, yeah, cutter, it's a sign, I gotta cut the cord. Um, 
But now that it's on like DirecTV and other cable networks, I can now watch those Dodger games here at work. And I, since I work at night, five nights out of the week, uh, five nights out of the week, um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be here watching the Dodgers game anyway. Holiday. All right, somehow Bowman knew that at that moment I was gonna talk about cutting the cord, and here's Cutter Coffee popping. Uh, Luis Meza for the Blue Jays, Robert, it's to four ninety nine. How'd they know? Can Bowman draft cut across? the fabric of space and time? It's possible. I should check out AT&T. So AT&T has just a streaming TV only option? Could be interesting. And we got Elijah Green. Nice Elijah Green autograph. Billy in the Nationals. Cutter coffee, suggesting I need to refill my coffee. No, that makes that makes me think they want me to cut down on coffee. Cut that coffee out of here. Huh? AT and T TV is just so I can just get internet and a streaming TV service, but not an actual cable package. And they have the Dodgers. I might have to do that. It's Jay Allen. I'll look into it. Jay Allen going to Ryan Harold and the Reds, getting a bit of that paper. Mar Johnson Chrome. Little did I know what. He started breaking the new Bowman. Tarot, tarot product, right. Tarot product. Sports price. What product does have, like, is it Gypsy Queen, I think? Has, like, has, like, tarot cards in it? Tarot cards? Tarot? Tarot? Tarot cards in it? If I was breaking that and Cutter came out, then I'll, I'll be like, whoa. That would have been perfect. Here's Reggie Crawford, 102 out of 150, blue chrome for the Giants. Ross with the Giants, my rivals. First, late first round pick. And we got Marco Luciano, three out of 25, orange paper for Ross. Yeah, like Gypsy, yeah. They look like, yeah, like Zoltar, right. Wasn't Zoltar in, uh, in, uh, Dude, Where's My Car? We got Jay Allen. Aqua Lava. You got Elijah Green for Billy and the Nats. Jay Allen, Aqua Lava going to Ryan Harold and the Reds. 131 out of 199. Their 2021 
30th overall pick. Holiday. Right, so those are those three autographs. All right, next box. So according to the Associated Press early this morning, 6.35 Pacific, the NFL announced a multi-year agreement on Thursday for Google to distribute the league's Sunday ticket package of out-of-market Sunday afternoon games on YouTube TV and YouTube primetime channels. The seven-year deal is worth a little more than $2 billion per season. The package has been on DirecTV since 1994. The satellite provider has paid $1.5 per year on an eight-year contract that expires at the end of this season. The NFL had been seeking $2.5 billion per season for the package. It could still reach that total since the league retains commercial rights to bars and restaurants and is in the midst of selling those rights. Uh, I think sports would probably fall into that category too. Commissioner Roger Goodell said during an interview with CNBC over the summer that the next move for Sunday Ticket would be to, streaming, to a streaming service because that would be the best option for fans. Goodell reiterated that with Thursday's announcement. Quote, for a number of years, we've been focused on increased digital distribution of our games, and this partnership is yet another example of us looking towards the future and building the next generation of NFL fans, Goodell said in the statement. It is the second time in less than two years the NFL has partnered with the streaming service to air games. The year's 11-year contract was Amazon Prime Video for Thursday Night Games started this season. Besides Amazon, Apple and ESPN also expressed interest in Sunday and the Sunday ticket package. As the ways fans enjoy NFL football evolve in a changing media landscape, partnerships with innovators like U2 will ensure that more games will be available to more fans, said New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who is also the chairman of NFL's media committee. This partnership will grow our game for future generations and allow them to Follow their favorite sport. Right, yes, that's true. Well, I don't know if it's more of a partnership. Mike Tower. Mike Tower is saying at least they partner with YouTube rather than OnlyFans. It's not a partnership. They were bidding. They were paying. I don't think OnlyFans has $2 billion a year to spend on that. I don't think OnlyFans has that kind of money. But no, not a partnership. They bought the rights to broadcast Sunday Ticket, the Sunday Ticket package. A lot of money. And we got a Chase DeLauder autograph, 136i250 Purple Chrome Auto. Mark with Cleveland. Your uh, 16th overall pick. Cleveland, this is for you. I don't know if the MLB has a, they don't really have like a Sunday ticket package, right? I think they have MLB like extra innings. I think all the networks have some have that. I think DirecTV, Spectrum, I think all the major providers have access to that. There's Jacob Misarowski, blue paper, 17 out of 150. But I know Apple TV paid a lot of money to broadcast Friday night games. And then of course ESPN has uh, has all the. Uh, Has the rights to broadcast a Sunday and Wednesday night games or something like that. Seven out of fifty. Blake Burkhalter, gold for Atlanta. That'll be for Devin. Holiday.
And we got Gabriel Hughes. Gabriel Hughes. Howard Hughes. The Aviator. Martin Scorsese. EA with the Rockies. The 10th overall pick. Howard Hughes. Show me the blueprints. Show me all the, just, I want you to go and show me all the blueprints. Show me the blueprints. Just show me the blueprints. Just show me all the blueprints. The way of the future. The way of the future. The way of the future. There's Jordan Walker, 127 out of 499. Cardinals, that's going to go to Jason K. 21st overall pick. The holidays should be hair apparent. I guess he does have. I think it should be hair apparent. Yeah, he, does, he does have some good hair. Might 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 rival uh might rival maybe Beau Bichette. Some good lettuce flowing out there. Yeah, yes, he he's a six-tool player, six-tool being a hair, that flow. That's what's in the up-close section on the back of this card. Scouts consider him a six-tool player. There's Roberto Campos and a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Roberto Campos is to 25. That'll be for Josh and the Tigers. Holiday. No, no guesses. Is, any, is anyone in the chat? It's just me and Mike. All right, I'll give everyone one and one guess only. One ping, one ping, Vashili. First to guess, the redemption. I'll give them $10 of break credit. How about that? Just to guess the player. Peter guessing Brooks Lee. The twin, I think. That would make you that would make Peter. That would make Peter very happy. Your one get well. What do you want your official guest to be, Peter? I, mean, I need an official guest. You get only one guest. By the time I finish ripping all these packs, for ten dollars of break credit.
Official Lee. All right. So Peter's official guess is Brooks Lee. Mike Tower guessing Mike Trout. Devin Hoover guessing Max Muncy. Dennis guessing Julio Rodriguez. And guest window closed. And you can actually see the live chat right there when the guest window is closed. All right, congratulations, someone. You are due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph, Black Refractor Parallel. What are the black refractor parallels number two? 10? 75? Might be 75, I think. I think it's 70. Peter's saying 75. I think, I think you're right, Peter. I think it's 75. Of. What's up, Tradiac? S. T, St. Louis, Cooper, Jerpy for the Cardinal. I don't think anyone guessed that, right? No. No one guessed it? Jason K, Cardinals. Holiday. If we took a holiday. And another redemption. Any guesses? Just show it? That's no fun. It's no fun, Peter. Trade, I guess this uh, no base. I don't know. Check the item description. See what it says on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That Kobe Mayo. 326 out of 499. All right, Dennis likes to play. Gold, Paul Goldschmidt is his guess. Victor Acosta, Aqua Lava to 199. Nice trade, that sounds like a nice project. There's David McCabe, Braves, Devin and the Braves. Chris, what's up Chris? Chris is gonna guess the, that Beck kid from the Rockies. Well, if Chris gets it, that's Chris Jaspi, if he gets it, he is not eligible for that $10 of break, break credit. Oh no, Rex. Rex is saying that at some point last night when he was at work, his dog got out of the house. 
And you spent over four hours looking. Isn't there... What are the weather conditions like out there, Rex? Hmm. I don't like that. I... She was hit by a car? So what's the what's the prognosis? Yeah, I hope hopefully your dog's gonna recover. Back legs broken. Eesh. What's the uh, what's the prognosis as of now? Are we still in like kind of touch and go? And you got to get the dog to a to the vet in the middle of a blizzard. 68 out of 199. I'm glad that someone actually called though. Sorry to hear that, Rex. I hope everything, everything will be okay. She's over 14 years old. Oh. All right, there's Mason Bennett to 150 and Jared McKenzie. 7 out of 75. There's that black parallel. Okay, all you can do, Rex, just make the, you know, just make the last moments as comfortable as possible for, for the pup, the old pup. It's the best you can do. But let's hope for the best, hopefully, you know. Wow, you found her in a in a if you call her trolley, that's a good name. You found her in a trolley fifteen years ago. You found her in a trolley, man. You probably probably gave her another extra thirteen years of life, you know? Think of it that way. All right, the redemption. The only real guess was Paul Goldschmidt and the bet kid from the Rockies. And it's going to be... Congratulations, you are due to receive a Class of 2022 autograph of, no parallel, W, that's only one team, right, Washington? It's Elijah Green. Billy. With the Nationals, nice. I think you got that other autograph and now the insert auto. All right. Folks, we are halfway through this break. Four boxes to go. So, I mean, Rex, so you, you think there's just nothing you can do? I think you think the vet's just going to say, this is it? Yeah, 14 years old, trying to recover from a couple leg, back leg breaks. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say, that she was still missing. I was like, well, there's a freaking blizzard going on there. Hopefully you know, someone found her, took her in or something. That's always nice. It's gotta, yeah, you gotta be thankful that someone just didn't 
leave her in the snow. Terrible. Before Christmas, too, and you got, yeah, you got young kids, too, yeah. Right, right, right. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a lot of money to repair, to like try to mend those broken legs. And then right, the vet will let, kind of let you know, is she going to be able to handle a surgery like that? How long does it actually, yeah, how much life does that actually give? How many extra years does it, does it give a dog that's already 14 years old? True. Yeah, and there's no telling that even if the surgery is successful, if that's just going to lead... To just, I don't know, maybe there's still pain, you know what I mean? Gosh, what a... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Cole Phillips, blue to 150, reveals a Trevor Martin. For Patrick N. and the Rays. I feel like there was a different Patrick that had the Rays in the last break. Fourteen out of one fifty, Cole Phillips. Ah, oh, and she yeah, yeah, then maybe maybe it's time, Rex. No, no, no. This this time it's okay. I think we're, uh, we're we're a big big fan of animals here, big fan of dogs here, so it's Jackson Holiday for Jack and the Orioles. We got gold paper, Daniel Vasquez to 50. That's for Mark and the Royals. Joe, this is the hobby, right? This wasn't the real Your face is a hobby. Yeah, that's hobby. For the record, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy's face is not the hobby. For the record. I don't want to mislead people here. And there's Sean McLean. 32 out of 75. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. 32 out of 75. Saying this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Mm. That was Don McLean, not Sean McLean. There's a Chase DeLotter, 212 out of 250, purple paper.
Teddy, there might be a fresh case of that. The Asia edition. There's Sonny DiChiara for Nicholas and the Angels. Justin Campbell, 410 out of 499 for Cleveland. Some Elijah Green, some Jackson Holiday. If we took a holiday. Parent Sal Stewart, 71 out of 99. That looked a little different. <laughs> yeah, like, like Sonny Corleone. Look what they did to my boy. Like that one? That's a good one, right? Look what they did to my boy. That they never come. If I may come to you, I'm not for a favor. That's a movie. I gotta, I gotta do a rewatch of that over the winter break. Oh, we got a, we got a Twitch chatter here. Hey, what's going on? Life alert. How long have I been collecting? Uh, I don't really collect, believe it or not. I kind of get to do this. Uh, I do this for a living, so that kind of scratches that itch. So I don't really actively collect. Although, over the years, I've been doing this for like eight years, so we got. I, I, over the years, I have accumulated a lot of cards, though. Like a box here, a box there, over the years. Adds up. I actually have to clean out that collection. And get rid of some stuff. The biggest card I've ever pulled in terms of monetary value or in terms of size? Physical size. So I've got both for you. The biggest card I ever pulled size-wise is, uh, is the 50 auto book that I pulled. So it was 50 autographs out of diamond icons maybe? No, maybe it was something else. Maybe it was Diamond Icons. It wasn't Dynasty. But that was pretty nice. 50 autographs, all big home run hitters. There's Trey Lipscomb. Yeah, I mean, size-wise, I think square inch-wise, yeah, the five auto ones definitely beat the box toppers. Think about how long five, 50 autos is, if it's only like two autos on each card size thing. Square inch wise, it would be it would be much larger. The most valuable card, dollar wise, that I've personally pulled was probably the 
It was probably the LeBron James uh, logo man from Immaculate a while back. So that was almost a $200,000 card. Um, I know that my colleague Teddy, who's on the Personal Breaks channel, I know that he uh, he pulled a a John Morant RPA. That was four hundred thousand dollars, I think. Luminaries. That's right. The fifty auto book was luminaries. That did not sell for as much as I thought it would. Oh, that's right. Chad Dawes, Joe Burrow, Stars and Stripes, NT first off line RPA. What was that sale price again? $200,000? I mean, that team's looking good if they go back to the Super Bowl. They win the Super Bowl. You know, I don't I didn't get the one of one uh Pele Auto. I don't know what that the the winner did not get back to me on a sale price. They might have kept it for all I know. Pele not doing well in the hospital. Uh, the highest price has been 150, 153. All right, you just keep waiting, Chad. I feel like they can make a run to the Super Bowl again this year. Maybe even win it. There's Brian Acuna. Then imagine what that card's going to go for. Over two, right? What's that scenario? Joe Burrow wins the Super Bowl. What is Chad's uh, stars and stripes RPA? What does that go for? That graded out uh, nine ten, nine ten, nine five ten. Chad was smart and got it graded. It got it graded too. Nine ten. That's what it was. Still good. Still good. It's still good, it's still good. It's just a little airborne, it's still good, it's still good. Man, that Zion's gotta be up there too. Yeah, we pulled a Jason Jaspi, also part of the, uh, the six figure club here at Jaspies. Uh, he pulled, here's uh, Max Muncy to 499. And here's Nate Furman, Cleveland, this is for you. 156 out of 499. Uh, Jason pulled that uh, Connor McDavid RPA um, a while back. And that went for, that was a pre-pandemic. That was a pre-pandemic pull that went for 153. That card got featured on ESPN too. Life alert, I just put the uh, break schedule into our chat. We're, we're I'll probably be here for about another hour. We start streaming at 3 o'clock LA time to 11 o'clock LA time, West Coast time. But yeah, my colleague Jason, who's on vacation right now, uh, yeah, he pre-pandemic pulled the uh, Connor McDavid RP out of the cup hockey, upper deck the cup hockey. And that, that's got to be more than... 135 or his final sale was like 130 ish. Yeah, that's got to be more than that. Even at the peak pandemic, it must have gotten could have been a lot more. Even post pandemic, it's still probably more than what it sold for. I mean, it sold for a lot. The buyer is obviously very happy about it. It was pretty incredible. And he doesn't really break a lot either. He still pops in every once in a while, but But he just kind of does it here and there just just for fun. Just for it was a filler, got into the filler and won it. I think Chad, did you win yours in a filler too? In a number block filler?
But yeah, I mean, we've been doing we've been doing this break game for like seven or eight years, so eight years, seven years, eight years, eight years. When do we when do we start doing this? <laughs> 2014 maybe. Uh, Mason Barnett, 32 out of 250, purple chrome autograph, Mark. But we've been lucky enough to uh, to have uh, pretty good customers buying out pretty expensive breaks over the years. So it has given us the opportunity to uh, to pull monsters like that. Forty out of one ninety nine. There's been enough volume. Hey, we've 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 had our fair share of stinkers too. There's Jackson Holiday Orioles, Jack Vane. Oh, was it in a mixer? You got a full spot of forty eight box high end mixer. And you traded the Patriots to get to it. Have we seen? Have we done a wellness check on the on the uh, the Patriots owner? I thought it was like a one box or a two box, like a half case first off the line break. I forgot that it was a mixer. You would remember better than me. I don't remember those things. We started. Did we start spring of twenty fourteen? And then I came on board fall of 2014. Man, it's been a while. Henry Davis, 121 out of 199. Life alert in the Twitch stream asking, what's the weirdest experience I've had doing this for so long? Weirdest experience? Huh, I don't think I don't think anyone's asked me that question before. That's the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing is no one has asked me what my weirdest experience has been. I don't think I really have like a weird experience. Things have been things have been pretty straightforward. We we've I mean, we've managed to avoid any serious <laughs> drama. We, th we're, we keep things pretty middle of the road here. Oh, at the well, at the time he was okay. okay so maybe me's not so much, not so much anymore. Weirdest experience. I don't think I've really had a weird experience. I have to think about that. Why this stuck, this stuck in here's a weird experience. So I'm not sure how familiar you are, Life Alert, with museum collection baseball, right? But it's pretty much a long rectangular box like this, right? Actually, I'll just use this. It's a long rectangular box like this, and inside there are four mini boxes, right? So there's four mini boxes inside this long rectangular box, and usually, you know. When I open up the main box and the four mini box inside, I would, I would make like, so they're all, they're shrink wrapped too. I'd make little cuts right there and then pull the box out and then do everything else. And then some, this is, this is years ago. This must've been like over five years ago, but I, I have no idea who that person is anymore. Um, but the person was just like, Hey, can you, uh, can you just rip across like that? And I was like, why? And he's like, I just want you to do it. It'd be easier, wouldn't it? It'd be faster. And I'd be like, yeah, I, I mean, I guess. I was like, I don't think you're, what am I going to say? Like a split second? 
Like, and then the guy insisted that I do it. It just started to freak out that I do it. It almost like, and was in like kind of, and up to this point, this person was chatting normally, and uh, and had sort of freaked out, and like, and got into like some like OCD spiral. I was like, so why can't you just do it, man? And at that point, I was like, no, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. And flipped out. Didn't it? Didn't really like curse me out or anything like that, but just, just it was just really melted down. I banned that person. That was pretty weird. Doesn't really matter. Managed to, uh, we've managed to avoid our fair share of weirdos as much as possible, anyway. Zach Nito, 143 out of 190. That's a Nito hit for Nicholas and the Angels. I'm not opening up packs up fast enough. Can you? Can I go fast? You have stuff to do. Well, I don't, so. You know, you should have helped sell this out earlier, Chad Daw, when I was, uh, when I had, when it was toward, toward the beginning of my day, when I was a little more high energy at the beginning of my day. Now it's the end of my day. You should have helped sell this out faster. I don't even see your name here at all. You didn't even help. Oh, you insist that I go fast. You know, that, okay, that's actually, that, in all seriousness, that brings me to another sort of weird thing. We get a lot of feedback. Not, I don't know if this has happened in the last year or two, but sometimes weird stuff was, uh, sometimes weird stuff is like, we would get feedback, so-and-so break or Jason breaks too fast. Joe breaks too slow. Like, they'll just be all, all different people. We'll just be like, you guys are going through the cards too fast. You guys aren't going through it fast enough. Blah, 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 blah. That's, that's always something that we get. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, like a break like this, you know, it's like you realize how long Bowman Draft would be if, like, we were just like Kobe Mayo, Ellie Dela Cruz, you know, it'd be like a two-hour break. Like we got, we got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> we gotta try to do as many of these as possible. But sometimes people, well, yeah, that's and that's what that's that's our response, Chad. Exactly. We would be like, well, that's why we put it on YouTube, so you know you don't have to watch it. You can replay it. You can you now have the ability to fast forward through it if you want to, or slow it down if you want to. Like we record at a high enough quality where at a slower speed, you'll still be able to make out all the names. I don't know. Uh, oh, my cow, that's just intentionally being mean. I'm just shoehorning that in. And before Christmas too. <laughs> At 0.5 speed, I sound amazing. Now, okay, now what if I did this, Chad, and then put it at 0.5 speed? Ready?
38 out of 499 paper. Yasser Mercedes for the twins Peter Alright. So watch that. That's about an hour seven into the video, Chad, so you can timestamp that. So now put that at 0.5 speed and, and tell me what that'll sound like. There's a tr Tress or Trey, you think? Tress Gonzalez, Trey Gonzalez, 44 out of 199, Aqua Lava. Pirates, Chad Benny. The other Chad D. Correct. I, I am lucky that I that I that I uh, record the chat now because without the chat, people would just be like, "What the hell is he doing?" Or if someone just tuned in at that moment, at this moment, hi. No, you, they're like, "Is my YouTube screwed up? What's happening here?" Well, double the laughs, Rex, because once this video is uploaded, you can go back to it and go to about the hour six. Hour five, hour six minute mark, around there. And then rewatch that at 0.5 speed. And that, I mean, that'll be pretty interesting, I think. There's Ryan Sermak for Patrick Nakasone. That's gonna be Tampa Bay Rays. Nice, another auto. Second round pick. I'm not an Android Rex. I think we've covered this. Beep boop beep. I think we told you told you already that I'm definitely not an Android, which I know you're gonna say that's exactly what an Android would say. Troy Melton for the uh, Tigers, that'll be for Josh. Last box, coming up, we made it. No, that filler's not moving? People don't want to do that, huh? I see orders coming in. Not for the first edition. I guess people are, oh, my God. We're, the next jumbo is down to 18. All right, hey, Chad, Dodd, thank you, man. Appreciate your support all year long. Um, have a happy Christmas, happy new year. I'll see you next year. Jaspi's still, still live tomorrow. Check the holiday schedule. We're still live tomorrow, but then we're not live for a few nights. And then we're back live again. And I think the only days we're off are 24, 25, 26. So that Christmas weekend, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. So we're going to... So we're gonna be off those three days, and then the only other day where dark will be on um, 
will be on, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, on the first, New Year's Day. All their days will be live. We'll be live streaming. Cubs got Tucker Barnhart. Yeah, I don't know much about it from the Reds, right? I think he was a little, a little prospecty at some point. Catcher? I think he's a decent catcher. How much do they pick him up for? I guess that would be the other question. Jackson Holiday. Holiday. If we took a holiday, it would be, it would be so nice. It's a nice one for Jack Vane and the Baltimore Orioles. Bought the team straight up. Jack with Jackson. Hmm. I was just going to say, if they got him for less than $10 million, that that's probably that's probably a good deal. So it looks like one year, possible escalators, possible incentives, and a uh, option. Yeah, I think it's fine. You know, I think probably average, average catcher with the bat, maybe slightly above average with the glove. You know. Doesn't have to be a long-term solution. I think that's fine. Solid deal. It's Colton Kowser. 10 out of 50. Mike Tower and I noticed that he was a he took up woodworking during the COVID shutdown. We saw that yesterday. That got us thinking, what kind of furniture does he have? Does he I mean does he even make furniture? Will he can he sell furniture to us? Can I get a Colton Kowser chair? Colton Kowser's chairs. I mean that'd be a good good alliteration there. There's Pete Hansen. To 150, that's going to be for the Cardinals. Pete, hey, come here, take a seat. No, that's Chris Hansen. He catches Predators. Not Pete. Pete Hansen pitches baseballs. There's Elijah Green for the Nationals, Billy. This is a short print. Is that show still on? Is Chris Hansen still catching Predators? I always had a thought that it would be like there's DeAndre Smith to four nine. I always thought that he would end up being a pre like Chris Hansen himself was a predator. Like I always got the feeling that he would be that. You know, it's like I don't know. You every every once in a while you hear like some like uh, you know real staunch like anti-gay religious leader ends up being gay or something like that. You know, like. So I, I just thought, man, he's just so about catching predators. What if he himself is a predator? I don't think I don't think that ever really happened. I'm not sure if that show is still still on. I can't imagine he's caught all the predators. Yeah, is he? Has has Chris Hansen has has not has just uh, decided he won't catch predators anymore, Mike Tower? He's just like, that's it? If he's not catching predators, who is?
Wait, was Chris Hansen really arrested for other things? Who would the Cubs trade for Eduardo Escobar and Brett Beatty? Last deck. Oh, I remember this. In 2019, he was charged with larceny after a check bounce with a vendor who delivered promotional items. He bounced checks for nearly $13,000 worth of promotional materials. The charges were later dropped. Then in February, then a year later, February 2020, he was charged with harassment of a civilian. He has not yet entered a plea on a court date for 20, 2020. Then a sting operation is supposed to appear and present evidence. In a court in Michigan, he did not show up for court. He, a warrant was issued for his arrest in July 2021. He later re turned himself in and stated in failing to appear in court because of misunderstanding which the process of being resolved. Huh. What was he in court for? In relation to a sting operation? What was the sting operation? What happened to him bouncing checks? He was... He had a court date. Yeah, that needs updates. The Wikipedia article says needs updates. Yeah, what happened? What happened to that court date? 36 out of 150, atomic parallel that Sedan Rafaela. That would be for Mark and the Red Sox. Holiday. Huh. So Chris Hansen, what, what's going on here? He's co-running a true crime streaming service based in Cleveland. Yeah, I guess he's just a weird dude. Caught some pedos, though. Is that show still happening, though? Or did that... Or did, are they not doing it? I feel like, I feel like that's like a easy-to-produce, true crime, gotcha kind of show. No, I guess it only went from 2004 to 2007? Yeah, that's what I was saying, Ryan. Apparently, they've all been caught. I don't think so. It's a lot of creepos out there. 61 out of 71, Josh uh, Kasevich. Blue Jays, Robert, or maybe the creepos just don't fall for that anymore? One six six uh, two fifty for the Reds. That's going to go to Ryan Harold. We got Speckle, Nate Furman. Tamar Johnson, Papel. E, e, Robbie Snelling. Then, is that it? That is it. That's the break. That was 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. All eight boxes, full case break, PYT, pick your team, five. Here's the r -r -r recap. Da -da -da -da. Got the Jackson Holiday. Some nice colors, some nice autos, some nice parallels. The Elijah Green. Cooper. More li live Elijah Green. Tamar Johnson. The Aqua Parallel. Some Cox. And some gold. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.